everyone. This is Todd Talks, apparently, and I am joined by James Hake and also Lauren Urban. And today we are talking about Rangers in Dungeons and Dragons. It's a hot topic, but we've got a update from our community community manager over at D&D Beyond. Uh, take it away, Lauren. Oh, hi, that's me. Yeah, I'm only here to talk uh, very briefly about a fun update that happened to Rangers since you're going to be talking about Rangers. If you have a Ranger on D&D Beyond right now, there has been an update that went live that is going to fix an issue that has been going on with the favored enemy. And this has been going on for a while. We've been trying to fix it. Um, the reason that I'm coming on to talk about this in this way, and we've, we've put out social posts and we've kind of warned people, is this is the first First time we've done an update that will affect a live character um because in order to fix this essentially you're gonna have to do about 10 seconds worth of work but then everything is gonna be great so um let's go to high adventure jeff hi adventure jeff so hi, adventure, hi. this is <laughs> hey everyone this is my human ranger are you proud of me? Anyway, wow. Adventure Jeff is a ranger. <laughs> I know. There are people out there like, why isn't an Aarakocra? I'm very confused. Nor So up until today, there had been an issue in where the favorite enemy, um, if you had picked more than one, if you were a high enough level that you got to pick more than one favorite enemy, only one of them would show up on the character sheet, which is annoying if you you know this is a big part of being a ranger is having all of these enemies that you get all these bonuses against and not having them show up on the character sheet was a problem so we did an update this morning that fixed that however what you'll now notice as you look at high adventure jeff is it's going to say that there are no choices made because in order to fix it you do have to go back into your character sheet and re-pick your favored enemy now it's super fast and super easy all you gotta do is come over here we're gonna edit high adventure jeff we're going to come into the character editor and it's going to bring us right to the class. And you're going to see favorite enemy is, is it's in blue and it's saying, Hey, you got to repick me. And we're just going to come. Uh, it did remember my first level, but it's not going to remember the language that I picked. And it's not going to remember any of the options after that. So let's pick a new language. Let's learn goblin. Let's oozes. I'm not a fan of oozes. And we're gonna learn celestial. There we go. That's that's and that's it. You're done. And so now if we come back to the character sheet, you will see that High Adventure Jeff now has all of his favorite enemies listed. All nice, including the languages that you now speak because of them. So it's kind of a simple fix. It's kind of one of those things that has been a thorn in all of our sides for a while. Because this is a new process, I wanted to take the time to actually walk you through it because unlike other things in where we've been able to make the adjustments kind of on the sly and they just happen, this one you do have to go back in, repick favorite enemy, but now it's gonna display beautifully on your character sheet. So go forth from here as you learn from these two fine folk here with me uh, about rangers and all the fun that you can have with, with rangers. Go forth, make a bunch of rangers, have all your favorite enemies listed right there. It's gonna be great. And if you have any questions, come to the Discord, come to the forums. Um, if something doesn't seem to be working right, let us know. We are still fixing things from Tasha's. It is an ongoing process. And I promise you, we're going to make everything awesome. We're still enhancing things from Tasha's. We, you know, and it, it's okay. We are also fixing things. Like there, there's stuff that we just got to make better. And that's, we're still working on stuff we know. And we're, we're here to make this character sheet as awesome as possible. And uh, thank you for letting me interrupt your time. Uh, and I will go and just hang out and chat now because sometime in the middle of you talking, I'm going to go give away a copy of Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lauren Urban, our community manager over at D&D &D Beyond. Have a great day. And now we're going to jump into Ranger stuff. <laughs> Whoa. All right. <laughs> so 